Hey guys, we're here again today, hard racing, working on our Kawasaki Z125 Pro project bike. And today we're going to be installing the Chimera cold air intake, also called a short stack intake, short ram air intake, lots of different names. But basically you get rid of your stock air box, which obviously does not flow nearly as well as a high performance pod filter. Best part about this is it's faced directly into the wind, so you will get a little bit extra horsepower from a little bit of ram air effect. Super easy to install and comes with a fully basically lifetime warranty can and filter fully washable it already is impregnated with oil so this is literally just bolt it on and go enjoy yourself and we'll show you how quick and easy it is to install it alright so the first step we have to do is remove the stock air box pretty straightforward all we're gonna have to do is just pop these little uh, push pin down here and we should be able to access the top. It's got a little push in pin. If you push that in and that loosens up, then you'll go reach up here, the tank, pull on that a little bit. You're not trying to break anything. Just, there you go. Now you can access the Phillips head screw right here. Do the same thing on both sides. That will release the top of the air box. Then all you have left is doing the clamp down here and the whole airbox should come off and then we just bolt on the Chimera. And if you can't get good access at this Phillips head with your screwdriver then you're just going to have to pop the whole panel off but it's pretty close to the end so you should be able to get it off. All you're trying to do is just release the upper mounting bolts for the air box. There's a little bracket there that holds your hoses in a washer. Make sure you don't lose those because you don't want to put those back in there so that this bracket's not flopping around. And then down here on the back of the throttle body is a little tiny screw. Make sure it's really loose because it's going to have to pull up and around the flange. You might think the clamp is loose, but you want it almost to the very end of the bolt. All right, so there are two hoses on the airbox. One in the bottom, which is a little drain hose. That one actually can stay on there. Just feed the line up off of the motor so when you remove the airbox, it's not uh, holding it back. Then on the back side, of the air box is the crank breather hose and that will go to your Chimera so just remove that off the back of the air box but leave it right where it's at because you're going to reconnect that to the Chimera. Once you have that off it's just a matter of wiggling the air box. You're going to have to take the horn off so a little 8 millimeter bolt on the front we'll just take the horn off then the air box can actually come out. You can don't have to unplug it. Just like There's that. actually one more bolt in the middle of the airbox, right above the throttle body. Again, it's easily accessible if you have a long screwdriver. Even with a short one, you could probably stick it in there, standard length. But. And you want to make sure you get the throttle tube off of the little rubber tube off of the throttle body. Otherwise, when you're pulling the air box out, it's going to get hung up on it. Off 
she goes. So get this, big old monster air box, and there's your intake. These two finger size holes on the back side of it. That's your air intake right there. All the air is getting forced through two finger size holes. That definitely has got some serious restrictions. So even if you put a high flow filter on this thing, you still got to suck the air through those tiny little holes. I'm sure guys will take this and Swiss cheese it and put air filter and all that stuff, but at the end of the day, nothing beats having a ram air filter pointing straight into the wind so all the air can get jammed right into the throttle body and not have to go through this big conglomeration. All right, so pretty cool also, two pounds. 10 ounces so a little bit of weight but you know for a bike that's only 225 pounds every little bit counts especially when you're adding not only a higher flow filter a little more horsepower with the ram air effect but you're also knocking off a little over a pound so that's always good so now to install it straightforward easy to do you basically take the coupler and you're gonna put that on the throttle body the other end on the Chimera your breather crank hose crank breather hose goes there and then the pod filter goes on the front. Alright, real quick side note, the clamp that comes with them are the same um, size. Well obviously one size of the coupler is larger than the other. So if you don't like having a long tail on the end of that, you can use the stock one that came with it, which is more uh, the right diameter. Obviously, it's not going to match that one, so it's either way you want to do it, personal preference. We're just going to stick with the nice stainless ones that came with it, even if it's got a little extra tail. It's all going to be tucked up in there anyway, so you're not really going to see it. So, first thing you want to do is put the clamp. Obviously, the larger end is going on the Chimera intake, and then the smaller end goes on your throttle body. Alright, so... Putting it on, I could probably try to shove this thing in there, but I'm just going to do it easy and pull this side piece off. It's actually only one screw here, one here, and one back here, and then everything else is just little push pins, which is really nice that they did it that way, and it comes right off. So two little screws, Allen in the back, and the whole thing comes off, so might as well just make it easy for yourself. Now we get a little bit better access. So before you forget, Go ahead and screw that thing back on. The washer and the bolt. Actually, you don't even need that big washer. Again, that's going to keep your cables from getting in the way or getting caught up on something. So you want to basically work it on there before you tighten the clamps down, get it so it's facing forward, kind of keep it tucked in. You don't want to hit any of your cables here. And then your breather hose, which was on the other side, needs to go up and over the frame. Basically on the stock setup, it was down below the frame. You want to go up and over the frame so it can go onto the back of the little nipple on the back of the intake. And then make sure that you put the little clamp back on it. All right, so once you've got your crank breather hose on, go ahead and put your filter on before you crank anything down. If you're anal, make sure your k and logo is facing upwards. Slide that on there. All the way to the back of the flange, make sure that your clamp is facing so you can access the bolt on it and basically you want to make sure these clamps as well that you can access and you don't want them flipped around facing backwards and then you're trying to crank it all down and it doesn't work so make sure it's got good clearance everywhere you don't want it hitting anything remember your body works going to come here so don't have it sticking way out like this make sure it's nice and tucked in there and then go ahead and cinch down all the clamps give it a good wiggle to make sure it's nice and secure you don't want any air leaks that's not good We 
I'm going to tighten it down enough where it's nice and squished, but not where you start mushrooming out and having it fall off the back of it. And make sure the clamps are on the ends of the silicone so they get a good solid grip on them. Preferably parallel with the end of it too. It's not hard to do, but you just want to make sure it's nice and solid. All right, so just give it a good move. Make sure it's nice and secure. Obviously, you'll have a little rotation of the silicone too, but you don't want to basically anything coming loose. So just give it a good movement around. But other than that, you're good to go. Again, it's it's already already oil impregnated, so it's good to go. Um, once it gets black and dirtied up over you know four, five, ten, twelve thousand miles, however long, just depending on your conditions, you can get um, the cleaner and the oil kit um, at any Amazon um, auto department stores. It's a Canon washing kit, but it's pretty cheap. You just shoot it up with some soap, uh, shoot some water through it, let it dry out, re-oil it, and you're good to go. And it literally, they say, basically a million mile warranty, but it's going to last longer than your bike is. So over the course of time, it will pay itself off if you put a lot of miles on it. So that's another extra bonus. So you're a little more horsepower, a little more airflow, a little louder, it's gonna make a little more noise, which is kind of cool for most people. Lose a little weight, washable air filter, it's kind of a win win for everything, and you know, the rim air effect. So, can't really beat it. And, uh, you know, so if you have any other questions or comments, check out us on Facebook, on the forums, Instagram, Twitter, our website, hardracing.com. Anything you need for this bike, we're going to get it. We're going to have a huge series of projects that we're going to do on this bike, make it all nice and souped up. Uh, but we're here to help. Anything you got, any questions, concerns, whatever, just shout us, uh, give us a call, send us an email or, or a Facebook message or whatever, and we'll get you taken care of. Check us out again at hardracing.com.